Hello guys, so welcome to today's video. As you already have read in the title, I'll be talking about the iPad Air for students. If you guys don't know, the Apple Unidays offer is gonna end on the 27th of September and in this offer, you can get student discount of up to 10% as well as free AirPods. The cheapest product on the Apple's lineup in which students are eligible for free AirPods is the iPad Air 4. So I thought why not make a review over it since I've had it for almost over a year now. So today I'll be telling you guys about my experience of using this iPad for about a year and I will also be telling you about some other tablets that you could buy instead as well in the end. So do stick around. Yes. So you guys have read the title right. The iPad Air 4 can be had at a price of only 36,000 rupees. Now, how can this be done? Uh, it's not entirely true, but if you buy it before 27th of September, the price comes approximately to 36,000 rupees because the iPad Air is for 50,000 rupees and you get free AirPods that are worth 15,000. So you can do the math. This is really important because the iPad Air was already priced quite aggressively but now, now if you have the budget it comes with two times the performance of the baseline ipad a modern look and not to mention lovely colors just like the sky blue ipad i have right here so the second point ipad for students so for this point i'll have to go back uh, a trip down memory lane my first ever computer or a mobile as a kid was an ipad uh, it was the iPad 3rd generation with the cellular 4G. It came with only about 16 GB of internal memory and 512 megabytes of RAM. This was quite a big deal back then for tablets at least. Since then the iPad has lost quite a lot of weight and got a lot of cuts along it. The iPad Air has developed these square edges uh, coming from the iPad Pro. So let me answer the most asked question about iPads gaming how is the gaming on the iPad Air 4 so you can easily play all the games on the iPad very very smoothly and I have noticed that the gaming performance is amazing and will continue to be uh, for the years to come it's quite future proof with the A14 chip it has 4 GB of RAM, which is quite enough for iOS standards. You can easily game for long sessions. The battery life is good. It personally gave me about five hours of backup during intensive gaming sessions. Uh, also, it has support for game controllers that can enhance the experience. Uh, there are a lot of people who have used the PS5 DualShock controller with their iPads for uh, single player games but controllers can be used across all iPads so it's not specific to the iPad Air. It's great for media consumption and the display is the best in class LCD in this price and gets quite bright. Overall great for watching Netflix or YouTube. Moving on to the speakers, they're great, the sound is rich but they're not as good as the iPad Pro. Uh, so enough of the reasons why you should get an iPad. I think if you're watching this video, you've already made up your mind that you need an iPad. Now, cheaper or similar alternatives to the iPad. Some YouTubers might tell you that some Samsung Tab or Lenovo Tab is better or similar to the iPad Air 4. But to be honest, I have used both of the tablets from Samsung as well as Lenovo and they're not even qualified to be called alternatives. They're not even close to the iPad. In fact, the iPad 9th generation, which is the base model iPad that Apple sells for about 31,000 rupees, would outperform them by a huge margin. And this is purely in terms of performance because at the end of the day in a tablet, uh, you will need gaming performance, you will need uh, a lot of multitasking and a lot of apps running in the background. So I feel that a tablet should have enough or more power than your smartphone. So the only competitors 
to the iPad or Apple's own iPad mini and the iPad 9th generation. First, let's talk about the cheaper option that is the iPad 9th generation. It can be a great at the price and if you do not have the budget to spend about 50,000 rupees on the iPad Air 4, yeah, definitely they do not have free AirPods as the one in the above, but you still do save a lot on this and the best part is that Apple has finally updated it. It has the A13 chip which is quite powerful and the base storage is 64 GB. So I don't think so you need to worry. Not to mention that it still comes with a headphone jack and as a student I'm damn sure that is very important. A headphone jack goes a long way especially in tablets because there are times when you're on a game and suddenly your Bluetooth headset loses battery and it's quite annoying. So having a headphone jack is a top priority at least for me uh, lightning versus USB I don't have any complaints from lightning because I already have an iPhone and I use airpods so it's not really a big deal for me uh, moving on to iPad mini 6th generation it is kind of a conflict because iPad mini has almost everything the air has USB-C the new colors and the new design but it has a better chip the a15 instead of the a14 in the air and a smaller display so it gets quite a tough question to answer personally in my opinion if you're getting the baseline version of both ipads without cellular just close your eyes and go for the air 4 because it comes with free airpods at a similar price and has much bigger screen the performance difference between A14 to A15 isn't huge, could be around 5 to 10% and you will definitely not notice it. But one thing you will notice is the larger screen because it's a tablet and the ability to have AirPods and it will be a complete ecosystem experience. So iPad Air is cheaper and a better tablet overall. But if you have a specific use case and you definitely need to have a cellular iPad, then maybe getting the mini is a better choice since it comes with 5G instead of 4G in the iPad Air. Uh, we definitely wouldn't be seeing 5G till the next year in India, but it's never a bad idea to future proof yourself. So that's it for today's video guys. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you still have any questions, DM me on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to take all your queries. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you don't, then tell me in the comments. I'll try to improve in one of my next videos.